Hey guys, just an update on the project. Uh, remember, I was trying to propagate some of the, some uh, some more of the snake plant. Yeah, snake plant. Um, so right here, this one. Remember, I did two cuts. So here, let me show it to you. I did. I cut off a leaf and then I cut the leaf again. So we have two. It used to be like that, and so. This one is doing well, as you can see, we have um, lots of roots growth. So I'm going to transfer that into this one to let it grow. And then the other one wasn't doing well. There, there was some um, rotting on this side of the leaf. So it was like squishy and soft. And then there was also some white mold on it. So it's both the... Um, bacterial and um, fungus infection for the plants so what I did was I just kind of cut away that squishy side because it's dead already and then I made some bleach solution and then just kind of wash this whole thing with bleach a few times and I'm gonna let this dry actually after it's like not co like completely dry but after the the cut, the exposed area are dry. I'm going to put it in a ziplock bag with like a wet paper towel again to see if I can actually rescue that because you can still see the roots from this one. So it's still healthy on this side, this side. So like I can still feel it's hard like in this area so it's still healthy I just need it to dry up so yeah I'm going to plant this one this way into this uh, perlite um, perlite medium and then I'm also gonna plant this other one as you can see there's a lot of roots so hopefully we'll get more of the succulent plants I'm excited for the snake plant though because snake plants are one of the best plants for indoor they're so resistant to droughts and low light condition, they can grow anywhere.